Hey everybody, my name is Chris Barrett. I am the head of people at Applied VR. Uh, we're a company focusing on building the next digital therapeutic platform. And I look forward to talking to you today about informational interviews and why they're an important part of any student or person's uh, career. And uh, I think the main benefit of informational interview interviews is to help you decide if a particular career or company or profession is right for you. Um, and so here we go, let's do it. Uh, first off, the goal of an informational interview. Um, the, the main goal of an informational interview is to really find out more about the industry or the company or the profession that you're seeking information about. And there's two sub goals of informational interviews. One is to pretty subtly express your interest and uh, your, your desire to learn more about this company in the form of also showing off your intellect and curiosity about this profession or company or industry. The second sub goal would be to practice interviewing. If you trust the person that you're doing an informational interview with, you can practice your interview skills and get feedback with them. And so those are usually the two sub goals ahead of the goal um, or behind the goal that, uh, that, that you're after in terms of the informational interview. It's also the best time to network. Uh, and what I mean by that is the best time to network is when you don't need a job. It's uh, the informational interview is a good time to go and ask for something from someone before you really need to ask for something from someone before you want something like a job or other information. The best way to prepare for an informational interview, that's something that I get asked a lot. So let me go through a few points there. Um, number one is you wanna inspire people to help you. So do your homework. Uh, you should know who the best people are that this person thinks that you want to uh, want to chat with. Uh, you want to um, see how these people that maybe uh, this person brings up, um, how this person is connected to them, the person that you're doing the informational interview. So maybe they'll help you make a warm intro later. Um, do you know, as the person preparing for the informational interview, what the most important trends are in the industry or in the company or in the profession that you're actually talking about? You really wanna be a good listener and you wanna really convey that you are a person with a memorable energy. And so you don't wanna just be mute and static. You wanna be energetic and thoughtful and um, also curious about what the person has to tell you. So number one, you want to inspire others to help you. So be that memorable energy that uh, you can bring to the table. The second thing is you want to do is to prepare a one minute intro. Um, something like this. Hi, my name is Chris Barrett. I'm the head of people at Applied VR. I want to chat with you today so I can learn more about your company. I'm really interested in getting into virtual reality and, and therapeutics. And so I'd like to understand more. So that'll be the second thing. Prepare a quick intro just so they know what the person uh, needs to hear from you and what they want to hear, uh, what you want to hear from them. And it's clear. So that's the second thing. A warm introduction uh, will always help. That's kind of the third tip that I wanted to communicate, which is um, if you know someone that knows this person, rather than you cold calling this person for the informational interview, it's always better if you can get a warm intro. So that's the third point. Okay, so tip number four on informational interviews is beware of the time. Uh, this is something for you to manage as a person asking for someone's time. Uh, the informational interviewee, so to speak. And so you want, as the informational interviewer, to uh, really be sensitive to the person's time and be thankful uh, as much as you can for their time as well. I don't think you need to do this uh, in an overly obsequious way, but I think it's a good idea to acknowledge that the person's giving you their time. So one of the best ways to do this is to count down the time as you go, maybe with five minutes left, say something like, I know we only have five minutes left, and so I want to squeeze in these couple questions. Or two minutes left. I know we only have two minutes to go. I have one more question to ask you. And with one minute to go, I would actually preemptively try to end the informational interview. If you have 30 minutes scheduled, that's on your 29th minute. And just say, with one minute to go, here's, uh, you know, I thank you so much. And here's what I'd like to do next. So that's tip number four, beware of time. Tip number five, uh, prepare a list of questions. This goes back to one of the tips that I gave earlier about seeming to be and actually being intellectually curious and thoughtful about um, what you're going in to talk to this uh, person about during the informational interview. And so some questions that you might uh, think about is, how did you get into this space or profession or company or industry? Number one. Number two, 
what do you enjoy most about this space or profession or company or industry? Number three, what parts of your job do you like the most? Four, some trends. Uh, what trends do you think that I should follow so I can stay abreast of what's happening in this space? Again, these are just suggestions, so you can take or leave any of these. Number five, uh, what kind of people do you like to work with the most? Uh, what type of people do you like to work with the least? Just so you get an understanding of what kinds of people might be successful in this space that you're talking to this person about. Um, number six, uh, what do you wish someone had told you about this industry or about this company or about this profession before you got into it? And then if you're feeling brave, maybe at the end, something like, uh, based on anything that I've said to you or questions that I've asked, what do you think I would need to develop in the coming months if I were to uh, want to join your company or become a HR person or a salesperson or a marketing person or a CEO someday, whatever it is. And so those are, that's just a starter list of questions that you can use to um, help, I think, show that you're interested and prepared in, uh, in, in uh, this informational interview. The last one is super important, which is follow-up. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're following up in the right way. Um, I would recommend an email that's very personal and say thank you uh, about some of the specific things that this informational interviewee uh, gave to you or, or shared with you. Um, you could even do a handwritten note and get their address and send it to them. That's kind of a nice touch. Uh, that's personal. Um, I would recommend not asking for anything in the first call. In other words, this is not the time to ask for a job or not the time to um, say, would you give me a reference for X or Y? Um, what I would say you could do is say something like, hey, this was super helpful. Can you recommend one or two more people that you think I could talk to and learn from as I continue my search for information? That would be something that would be inbound, so to speak, in terms of asks for this informational interview. And then the last thing, which is maybe the most important thing is I would just follow up two to three months after this call and just tell the person where you're at and say thanks again for the time spent. Hey, Chris, I'm uh, really thank you for that time we had on, on Zoom three months ago. Uh, I, you know, and I've, I've talked to five more people, including the two that you recommended, and I'm really, really excited about becoming, the, becoming an HR person or becoming a recruiter or becoming a salesperson. And a lot of that was thanks to you. So that would be a kind of a must do. So the sixth tip would be just to make sure you're good and follow up. So just to kind of recap, um, number one, prepare. Number two, prepare a one minute intro uh, about yourself. Number three, get a warm intro if you can. Number four, beware of time. Number five, prepare a list of questions that you might ask to get the information that you need. And the last thing would be follow up and follow through with the person that you did the interview with. So that's it for today. Uh, those are my best tips on informational interviews. I hope that you found this helpful. Thanks. For more content and professional advice, please head over to GGU Connect.